All right, lesson 18, patrolling handling equipment. Uh, introduction. As a pre-trolling officer with a joint operation, you should know the capabilities to overstep the bulk for you with the storage, distribution, handling, and most effective you for the assays, bulk of the instructor, the intent of the give of the brief, the operative Overview of the bulk patrol and handling equipment. You use the Army, Navy, the Air Force, the Marine Corps, the Army equipment employment that will be covered with more detail with the proponent school under an Annex C. Army patrol and handling equipment. The Army have the responsibility for the inland distribution of the bulk patrol and also for the theater operation. Due to this mission, the Army has developed a new system that has improved the older one, a tactical fuel system, inland patrol and distribution system, IPDS. Um, designed with the meet the Army requirement of the transportation bulk patrol and all land forces theater for the inland patrol and distribution system because of the three major components. Pipeline, the inter inland petroleum distribution system pipeline with a 6-inch aluminum pipeline with the inside of the diameter 6.249 inches. If the pipelines have the design to move over 960,000 gallons of fuel per day converged into a 5-mile pipeline. So if they include the nest pipe that's involved with the coupling and accessory to set up the 5-mile pipeline, there are two sides of the pipe section in the inland petroleum distribution system. And the 9-foot wide, 19-variable um, level thickness pipe with a thickness of the 404 thousandths of an inch. On um, each end of the narrow um, down to 188 Eight thousand uh, inches and thousands of an inch toward the center of the pipe. The the main run with the pipeline low pressure. The area with the pressure of the varying thickness of the pipe section cannot be cut. However, the end of the can be cut. The regroup the one to the edges, one's damage. Um, the 9.5 foot constant wall thickness pipe with a thickness of 404 thousandths of an inch. One end of the other because of the other constant thickness of the pipe can be cut in any length with the desired clove the gap in, uh, in the pipeline. As a result of the construction of the damage, mostly in over the high pressure area. The piping section is connected to the sand block coupling with up the hinges on one side of the screw with the pin and with the other. The gasket with the either one piece of gas, separate gasket with the two pieces of integral gasket. So either engineer you the task with the design construct for the pipeline quartermaster units to operate and maintain the pipeline once it is in place and placed. Pumping station, the in inland petroleum distribution system pump. Um, Pumping system consists of the two six and three stage eight hundred gallon per minute. Um, mean conventional figure pumps operational output of the eighteen hundred feet ahead. Oh, ahead of the pumping liquid specific gravity of the um eighty five thousand of an inch um the, um eighty five hundred of an inch second station of the um also have the script the launcher receiver there similarly strain of the flood site um, the flood lights of the pumping station this is named to allow the one pump to move fuel in the pipeline while the other pump is kept in the reserve that shut down the maintenance tactical petroleum terminal detection and oil and terminal with the largest bulk fuel system in the army the tactical petroleum terminal can be established with the base intermediate head terminal with the basic storage capacity is um the system is 300 3,780,000 gallons stored in 18 5,000 barrel with collapsible fabric tanks of the tactical petroleum terminal it has over the oh, it has 350k optional tank configurations to 250k tanks to each giving a total source um storage capacity of four uh, 4.08 million gallons of the tanker patrol can terminal because if three identical fuel in line units each of the fuel in unit have three tanks of the six of the 210,000 gallon tank for each of the tactical patrol and terminal so three different fuels that are required that each fuel can consider the three tanker fuel um, farms assembly can consider the two 5,000 barrel tanks 600 gallon per minute hose line pump with the associated things the hose cannot come um, connect the system together parameters for the tactical tactical patrol and terminal is to store bulk fuel um both the operational youth and portion of the the theater fuel reserve. The 1250 gallon per minute flood transfer pump, the pump, the general purpose of the pump is most of the often within the, within the tanker patrol and terminal. The the transfer fuel with the, the terminal pump is skidding mine with a six inch diesel engine driven the central figure pump. And fuel system supply point. The fuel system supply point with the primary method of tactical petroleum storage um, in the Army, the relatively mobile system that can be found throughout the theater of the operation part of the DCA with its basic storage of the fuel system uh, fuel system supply point with the 10,000 gallon collapsible tank, the, although 20,000, 50,000 gallon tanks can also be used. System has two 350 gallon permanent pumps with operational of the 225 feet over the head of the feet when the fuel was being pumped with the specific gravity 0 0.85. The filter separator system has two separate uh, separator with the filter incoming outgoing fuel with the fuel system supply point the use the four inch hose throughout the most of the system three inch two inch and um, one inch one and a half inch one inch hose that are also you the issuing the fuel the fuel system supply point has the receiver the manifold that can receive the fuel and um, Receive the fuel um, support sources in the system that you can receive the Receive the fuel at 5,000 gallon tank of the rail cars, the salt hose line, the two, the system issue the fuel with the bottom load with the fuel tanker, the two, the 500 gallon collapsible drum case for the drums and fuel uh, vehicle refueling the fuel su system supply point. Configured a 10 point aircraft refueling system with additional hose and nozzles required forward air refueling equipment. Paused. 
All right, for a forward error for refueling equipment to fire system in the forward error area, refueling equipment system designed with the mobile two point aircraft refueling system just can be even up in can be up in as little as 15 minutes because we're with the personnel with a forward error refueling equipment that consists of the following main major component with a pump with a 100 gallon per minute um, potential figure pump driven the gasoline engine filter separate with 100 gallon per minute two stage. Forward area refueling equipment and system with a two-inch collapsible hook with a four fifty foot section with a discharge hook with a two twelve five um, foot section with a suction hook with the nine components. Fuel source of the, of the two five hundred gallon collapsible drum. The drums are not components of the fire system, but they are normally used to recover their mobility. Other source that can be used with a five thousand gallon tanker with a ten thousand gallon or higher capacity collapsible tanks. Water detector kit with adapter with a used to perform quality surveillance on the fuel and filter separator. Three fire extinguishers with a dry chemical carbon dioxide fire extinguishers are necessary for the shape of the kind of aircraft refueling system. Or your HEMTT tanker aviation refueling system. And the HATAR system is designed with a lightweight with a rapidly with a sample four point aircraft with a hot refueling system to be within M970 HEMTT tanker. All connections of the HATAR um, system are unique site for the dry coupling cu um, couplings. The couplings are designed to prevent the fuel from falling and the connection is not, uh, not made properly. System consists of one three inch by thirty foot and two ten ten two ten two inch fifty foot discharge hose. They also include the four nozzle that has of the CCR and um and four D ones for overwing and recirculation um, nozzles. All right, your petroleum tank vehicle, the tank truck for the even the refueling, the trip of the fuel handling equipment, the carrier one with a piece of equipment that permanently fixed for the carrier traffic, except for the tank with the pump unit, the tank of the pump, the unit, the TPU, the design of the mounted with the five ton cargo tank, um, cargo truck for the retail with the operation, the tank pump unit that can be found with the unit slab with the large number of the vehicle, the tank pump unit, except for the following PH piece of the equipment, and um, A, a two six hundred gallon well with the aluminum tank, the pump with the A frame with the half of the fifty gallon pump, the central figure with the electrical driven the vehicle with the twenty four volt battery system frame, it also has for the fifty gallon pump, filter separated two foot four. 40 foot by one half inch dispenser can assemble the mounted on a hose reel with the ground reel with the grounding with a pump with a filter separator assembly with a meter cable which has it ordered and separately. Thinking pumping unit can only store with the issue of the one type of the fuel, the second type of the fuel that can be carried on the trailer mount with 600 gallon pump into the tank with the butt, the fuel of the fuel, um, but fuel from this tank must be gravity fed and set issued through the another pump with the filter separator. The M978 HEMTT tanker, the heavy expanded mobility tactical truck tanker, is 25,000 gallon capacity that was found in the combat units provided with the transportation distribution patrolling. The vehicle can operate both on and off the road, high on, has a highway range of 300 miles. The vehicle weighs 10 tons, has a 444. 445 horsepower diesel engine. The tank has 25,000, uh, 2,500 gallon steel to endless steel shelf, um, steel shelf with baffles, manhole cover, transporta transporting capacity, both highway and cross country at 2,500 gallons. The pump is rated at 300 gallons per minute power of the vehicle engine through the use of the power take with an M970 of the house with the auxiliary pump rated at 25 p.m. powered and the vehicle is at 24 volt electrical system filter shut the vertical with 300 gallon per minute two stage filtering. Tanker semi trailer, both transportation, um, transport tankers, full service tank tank of the two type of the difference between the two that is the tank uh, transport tankers with the and not equipped with the friction um, filtration equipment, therefore they cannot refuel the as cover the full service tankers can transport all service the other vehicles over the customer, but other type that require primary move the normally five ton tractor. All right, your bulk transport tanker, the M967, the 5,000 gallon bulk transport is designed with the both on road and limited off road. With the tank, um, tank of the stainless steel with a single compartment that shovel over the back of the highway to carry with the capacity of 5,000 gallon, 3,800 gallons across country. Pump is 4 inch low and pressure with the high volume of the 300 gallon central figure to drive and pump with the diesel engine. The pump delivery of a 600 gallon per minute self load rating rate. Rating everything up on board with 300 gallon per minute. The main fold section tank of the 4 inch diameter that has the one dispensing assembly made with the up to 3 4 inch by 14 foot section. Hope that the bulk release self loading operations. Alright, the M1062. The M1062 with the 7,500 gallon, um, gallon bulk trans bulk field transportator, transported design, specifically a highway improve the roadways usually. The tank is stainless steel, single compartment, the shovel, the bath with the M1602. Uh, have the no pump filter separator that has one dispenser assembly made with a 3 4 inch by 15 foot section and hose with the gravity delivery. Alright, so for all servicing semi trailer, the M9, uh, M969 5000 gallon tanker design, the refueling ground vehicle with the aircraft, the tank is stainless steel, the single compartment, the shovel, of the bath with the highway carrying capacity of 5000 gallons and 3800 gallons cross company. The pump is 4 inch low pressure for the high volume 300 gallons for central figure pump driven them with the diesel engine for the bulk delivery at 600 gallon pound per minute. Self load ready and using on board 300 gallon per minute. The manifold is in the tank of the 4 inch diamond with the 3 dispensing and some of the 2 mounted on the hose reel with the 1 made with the 4 inch and 14 foot suction hoses 
for bulk delivery self-loading operations. The filter separately horizontal type rated at 300 gallon per minute three-stage filtering. The M970907 with a 5,000 gallon tanker specifically designed for the over-to-wing, under-wing refilling aircraft with a tank of the stainless steel singular compartment with shelves with baffle the highway carrying capacity of 5,000 gallon, 3,800 gallons cross-country. The pump... It's three inches high pressure with a low value of 300 gallon per minute central figure to drive a pump with a diesel engine with a bulk, um, bulk delivery rate with a 600 gallon per minute bypass filter separated 300 gallon per minute delivery through the filter separately self loaded um, loaded rate with 300 gallon per minute you the on board pump, pump. Manifold system with a tank of the four inch with the diameter three dispenser get some of the two mounted mount the, on the hove of the reel of the made up of the three four um four three four inch by 14 foot section of the bulk delivery self loading operation. The filter separate air horizontal type rated at 300 gallons per minute, three stage um, filtering. After aircraft delivery system, the CH, CH-47 the ERF, uh, ERFS, and better known as the pack half of the modular interconnected system, come over the up to four 600 gallon non crash worthy tank is for the electrically driven fuel pump with the of the aircraft the main fuel tank, fan system associated wiring, plumbing, and bounding hardware. The system can also provide 2,320 gallons of fuel. You've the extent of the CH-4S uh, operating range, the ERFS uh, system can be used the fuel surface forward side of the system, and even the always all additional equipment, and even the, such as pump filters, separators, hose fittings, and the shop with the required amount of the aircraft three fuel point. The Marine Corps, some mutual and handle, handling equipment, the Marine Corps are several tactical fuel systems. They're similar to the Army. The Marine Corps are organized in support with both air and ground petroleum requirements, but they can be responsible for the service of the inland petroleum distribution absent for the Army. All right, nine. Your tactical fuel system, amphibious assault fuel system, the AAF, over the largest Marine Corps the tactical fuel system designed to receive this over the issue bulk with the almost of the MAGTF, the including the distribution by hose lines of the airfield. The amphibious assault fuel system can receive fuel and ship the shore orientation. Ship to shore or, or operation to enable the military sea lift command. The commercial with the shipping addition of the army the amphibious assault fuel system is capable of receiving fuel for the navy's landing craft with the largest railroad tank cars, tank trucks, and pipelines, hose lines, fixed um, facilities, bulk tanks, drums that include the transfer of fuel by the hose line with the other shortages. It can um, store more than 600,000 gallons in the five tank farm with the 8,000 gallons in the two booster station, 40,000 40, in the beach, unloading assembly, give the maximum capacity for 720,000 gallons of the a single type of the fuel. The system consists of several um, self-contained units with assembly, one beach unloading assembly with the consistency of the two 600-gallon pumps over the two 20,000-gallon and collapsible dumps assembly. You can receive the fuel during ship to shore operation. One drum on assembly consists of the 600-gallon pump for the four drumming and uh, unloading points with the two pump booster station assembly is consistent with the 600-gallon hose line pump with the two 20,000-gallon collapsible dumps, two booster assemblies. You can do the distance between the storage site for the greater than collapsible and capable pumping Distance two adding assemblies to make system a capability of the commercial other service fuel system. I one dispenser can assembly provide a tile, tile capability to dispense fuel five tank farm assemblies each of the system consisting of six twenty thousand gallon collapsible tanks at six hundred gallons per minute. Um the amphibious um the amphibious assault, assault fuel system consists of the approximately 3.5 mile 6 inch collapsible hose with the U of the 10 600 gallon per minute um, pump with the 600,000 gallons bulk fuel with the five tanker farm assembly. The tactical air fuel fuel dispense system and the TAFDS um, they refer to the amphibious assault fuel system, but at a smaller scale, the amphibious fuel assault fuel system supports the overall equipment requirements of the MAGTF, the both air and ground, the tactical airfield fuel dispensing system support the special tactical airfield requirement designed primarily to provide aircraft for fueling expanditory airfield with a single fuel with a battlefield with a tactical airfield fuel dispensing system will allow to be able to issue the fuel with the ground vehicles. This will be employed by as whole with the in part with the conjunction with the tactical airfield fuel dispensing system and easily assemble the air as a terror transport. Both the tactical airfield dispensing system consists of six 200,000 gallon collapsible tanks, 120,000 gallons capacity. Three three hundred um, three three hundred fifty or six hundred gallon pumps. So there's six three hundred fifty gallon pumps, um three fifty gallon per minute pump filter separator, three hundred fifty gallon per minute fuel monitors, each monitoring two twenty go, no go, go fuses, three two inch, three inch meter assemblies, helicopter expenditure re refilling sewage um system or hers the H E helicopter expenditure refueling system is designed to support the helicopter operation advance um air of the remote site with the normally of the F A R P S. The has a helicopter expenditure refueling system is very similar to the design of the capable of the Army's um fuel air armed refueling air um 
Two systems of the helicopter um, expenditure refueling system is for the two 100, 125 gallon pump, the two quality monitors, each contain the nine ten go no go. Few of the of the he- helicopter um, expenditure re- 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 expenditure expenditure refueling system has two inch meters. The meters are some of the can establish four point refueling system that. The uh, helicopter expenditure refueling system consists of 18,500 gallon collapsible drums, 9,000 gallon capacity, two 100 or 125 gallon pumps per minute, two filters separate for fuel quality, mounted fuel meters assembly, assembly of the hose filters connecting the system. The helicopter expenditure refueling system is deployed over the way with the F A fair system. The MWSS F and W fuel branch has two eight herbs, and while the MWSS to RW has seven. The helicopter expenditure refueling system is used to establish FARPs in advance air with the extent of the U.S. military Marine Corps attack unity helicopters, attack utility helicopters. All right, expenditure refueling system. The um, expenditure refueling system designed to provide simple, versatile refueling support for the ground vehicles. Because 500 gallon collapsible drums, 100 to 125 gallon per minute, with the hope of the refitting of the emergency expenditure refueling system is expen- easily transportable both by ground air transport, transport and will be employed with advanced position refueling ground vehicles. Six container system. The six con, um, six con is not normally even the general support with the CC, CSS element of the MG, MAGTF, provides storage of transportation if you bulk over the six. Container system is both ground and air transportable. The six container system of fuel pump module, five fuel tanks, modules, and accessories. The fuel pump module consists of the 125 gallon pump, the 100 gallon per minute filter, and separate fuel monitor, monitor meter, assembly hose, re- uh, reel with the maximum fuel flow of the system, 100 gallon per minute. Then the fang- fuel tank module stands and steel with each of the tank of the 900 gallons of fuel. Five modules can fit with the ISO container with the easily transportable. Each fuel module assembly contained with the necessary hope of the fitting is to connect with the fuel pump module. The accessories used in the six container system is connected each of the fuel tanks and modules used in two inch dry piping brake couplings to allow rapid, easy, safety assembly and Disassembly. All right, F, your petroleum tank vehicle, the Marine Corps primary petroleum tank vehicle, the M970, the 5,000 gallon tank with the same vehicle, the previous to cover the Army equipment, the only semi travel the Marine Corps have, the aircraft bulk for fuel handling system, and the tactical bulk fuel delivery system, because if the two kits. With the TBFDS for the CH-53 and auxiliary fuel kit. Um, tactical bulk fuel delivery system, the C-53, the, uh, similar to the ABF, the DS of the, of the Air Force. However, the, instead of the pulling system of the fixed-wing aircraft of the Marine Corps, the system within the CA-53 helicopter, the primarily employed to provide the bulk fuel, the remote, uh, remote location of the both ground and aviation system, have the carrying capacity of 2,500 gallons of capacity. A fuel auxiliary fuel kit. The auxiliary fuel kit will advance the CHF um, CH fifty three capability. The range extended its unit using spon- spon- sponson and tanks to dispense of the carry fuel with the forward air of the air auxiliary fuel kit. So this is for the two six hundred fifty gallon um, external tank. The tank um, bolt, ta- tactical bolt fuel delivery system on the, um, the KC one thirty R. The KC one thirty R tank will provide aerial refueling fixed wing with the rotary wing aircraft equipped with the refueling boom. Tanker can also be airland, uh, airlanded, refuel tactical vehicles, real supply with the bulk fuel storage of the KC 130R. The tanker can hold the minimum of 4,000 gallons up to 9,000 gallons of the jet fuel in the tanks. Its drought prob, um, probe, the assembly with the air refueling droughts probe, the assembly with the further discovery of the Navy equipment block. All right, 10, Navy Petroleum Handling Equipment, Navy and Military Sea Lift Command are primarily made for the transportation fuel for the aim of the theater operation of the other. Other services in addition for the Navy must be able to support their own operation, both with their float and ensure the defense for the energy supply center bulk supply. As stated below, below the Military Sea Lift Command are primarily made for the transportation bulk petroleum of the theater operation. The Military Sea Lift Command operates for 13 feet of um, fleet oilers around the world are augmented with the capability of the number of the six oilers support the Atlantic fleet six support the Mac Pacific fleet one position and um, reposition ship. Um, the top speed of, the, of these oilers is 20 now for the range of the 6,000 mile of the 18 now the nine of the tankers of the view capacity of the 180,000 barrels um, uh, or 7.56 million gallons. Um, with a war have the capacity of the 159 to 500,000 barrel to reduce the capacity result of the environmental act of 1990, reducing the double hull of the oil transportation tankers. Following tankers are most commonly used the sea. Lift class tanker with a layer of nine sea lift class tankers that each have the cargo capacity of 225,000 barrel um, in the southern tanks. The tanker they have the draft over the 34 feet 6 inch fully loaded. It's equipped with a four cargo pump with the offload with a discharge of the capacity of 24,000 barrels an hour. The youth thing in the home with a discharge of the tank of the town, 100 psi, maximum 50 psi, minimum. Minimum for the planning purpose. 
The pipe connections for the sea color lift glass anchor of the tour, 12 to 14 inches. The, um, the sea lift tank glass anchor of the travel to 16 out of the range of 75 to 100 miles with half of the crew with 30 view. But the TF class or tank with the TF5 class or tank of the modern with the M Marines. M um, Military Sea Lift Command Fleet with the last tank of the being with the, delivered in 1986 with the T5 um, TF5 class tanker each for the kind of cargo passing with 238,400 barrels and nine tanks. The tanker have the draft of 334 feet with the fully loaded is equipped with the four cargo pump with the offload cargo has the discharge of the capacity of 24,800 barrels an hour with the all pump using all pump. The discharge pressure of the tank of the 125 psi for the playing purpose of the pipe is connected with the T5 class from the tankers are 12 to 14 inches. The T5 class tankers have the speed of the 16 knots ranging 1200 miles and have a crew with a 23 to 9 officer, officers patrolling discharge system. The officer, offshore patrolling discharge system is designed to answer the patrolling distribution on the developed theater of the operation of offshore patrolling discharge system. If a 15 million gallon tanker solvent, solemn boy, four mile with collapsible hose line. There are currently five operate, offshore patrolling discharge system tankers in the inventory. Each tanker can offload a bulk petroleum with 1,000 gallons per minute or 1.2 million gallons per day, the 24 hour, 20 hour rate operating day. The, the Salboy buoy is a salvage always a tanker to anchor the ho hook up the hook for the connection. The Navy Construction Battalion is underwater diver support the need for the salvage system. One play for the tankers is to start the petroleum with the Salboy with a high water bank mark on the beach where the fuel is transported to the Ar Army in inland petroleum distribution system. The Marine Corps system subsequent to tankers anchor for the Salboy off the, of the cargo of the five tanker cars per. Um, presently equipped the offshore petroleum distribution discharge system. They are Potomac 168 million barrels, um, American Osprey 235,000 barrels, Chesapeake 225,000 barrels, Petersburg 255,000 barrels, Mount Washington 269,000 barrels. All right, your fleet support and equipment. The Navy, you the fleet oil with the fast combat support ship that provide the replenishment of the vessel of both bunkering and aviation fuel. The five fleet oilers, AO with the eighth um, fast ship, combat ship, the um, ship the AOE, the back of the Navy, the M military sea fleet command operates 13 fleet oiler. Auxiliary oilers. Auxiliary oilers are designed to provide complete, um, two complete refueling to aircraft carrier with an escort to destroy the full on capacity of the activity. Navy the affiliate oilers divide 120,000 barrels or 5.04 million gallons of fuel. With the from 1987 to 1990, the oilers were jumbo-ized to hold 180,000 um, or 7.56 million barrels at the top seat of the fleet of the order 20. Um, now, the following list of the activity the Navy the affiliate oil of the fleet to have the support with the Cimarron Pacific Mountain Head Lilling. Monagello, Atlantic, Merrimack, Atlantic, Wilmot, Wilmot, Pacific Plateau, Atlantic. The Marines, um, the military sea, um, sea lift command operates 13 fleet oilers around the world. They're augmented capable of the activity in the Navy and the six oilers of the Atlantic Fleet with the six support of the Pacific Fleet and one three position ship. Top speed of the three oilers, 20 knots for the range of the 6,000 mile with the 18 knots with the 9 with the tankers have fuel capacity of 7.56 million gallons for the four capacity of 155,900 BB barrel with the reduced capacity of the result environmental ag pack with 1990 redoubling hold on the oil transportation tankers. All right, fast combat support ships are AOE. The Navy the current operate with the um, fast combat support ship with the resupply with the fleet with the petroleum ammunition refrigerated store with the dry stores. Um, with the two acts of the, of the um, fast combat support ships are uh, the Sacramento class of the supply ship with the Sacramento class of the, of the AOE. Um, support, fast combat support ship that have the fuel capacity of 180,000 barrels. Or 7.98 billion million gallons, 2,150 2, 2, tons of the ammunition, 500 tons of the dry store, 250 tons of the refrigerated store. Speed of the, of the um, first fast combat shot support ships out of the 26th of the complete, with the, um, with the, has a complete 600 of the four Sacramento class. Um, fast combat support ships are Sacramento, Pacific Fleet, Camden, Pacific Fleet, Sully, and Seattle Atlantic Fleet, Detroit Atlantic Fleet. Um, Supply class. The ships have the capacity of the 177,000 of the BBLs or 7.4 million gallons of the POL, 2,150 2, 2, tons of the ammunition, 500 tons of the dry cargo, 2,500 tons, 250, sorry, 250 tons of refrigerated cargo. Top speed of these ships is over 45 miles. Now, the two supply class of the um, fast supply support ships of the fleet support that's followed by Atlantic, Arctic, Atlantic, Rainier, Pacific Bridge, Pacific the Tanker Aircraft, the United States military but the link, um, began, began to develop in concept of the in-flight refueling so shortly after World War II and since of the fuel capacity of the aircraft determines the flight range of the flight time, the concept of the in-flight refueling must be done with the modern aircraft. 
Aerial tankers were needed to the refuel of the B-52 bombers that would fly Doomsday mission. The first aerial tanker was based in the Boeing B-29 4 engine propeller driven motor bomber. The, unfortunately, the B-29 could not pay, um, keep pay with the modern day jet with the supposed to refuel. The two methods of refueling developed the air tanker. The probe de- drive method used the extensible, extendable hose line basket to refuel the aircraft. The air um, tanker extended the basket behind, behind the refueling aircraft. Mu- must maneuver the two and insert the refueling probe into the basket. Message preferred to U.S. Navy, the Navy, the in number of the NATO country. The bri- bridge bam- boom method is used the boom. The equipment with the five um, fins maneuver the boom. The aerial tanker lowers the boom. The refueling aircraft positions itself behind the below the tanker and the boom operator maneuver the boom. Insert the aircraft refueling receptacle. This method is preferred by the U.S. Air Force. The S-3 aircraft, the aircraft carrier based anti-submarine attack plane, has a range of 400 miles. Can stay on uh, stay on station for up to four hours at a time. You hungry? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just have ham and beans again. I got, no, I got fried chicken. All right, all right. right. All right, I'll come out in a little while. The S3 used a 5 400 gallon drop tank for the store of the fuel with a drop of the drive dry, assembly of the refuel circuit, refuel aircraft. Expenditary logistics support force equipment. The uh, expenditary logistics support force um, equipment is uh, will be used by the uh, expenditary logistics force to establish land-based refueling capability of the Navy. The undeveloped leader support that will be found with the both ground equipment and rotary fix of the wing aircraft with exemption of the first draft of the described arm of the high-speed aircraft the refueling system. None of the equipment they have them care of the units. High speed aircraft refueling system for, for the two trailer system, the two first trailer containing 300 gallon per minute of the um, pump and 300 gallon per minute of the filter separated the fuel reaction chamber. It was real system, the second secondary trailer not designed to procure, but that will contain four 10,000 um, 10, gallon collapsible tanks extra over the refueling test kit. The system is designed to refuel aircraft only. The bulk fuel storage system, single product store for the issue of the system, revolved with around five, four or five two thousand gallon collapsible tank fuel service station with the exhibit of single the one ten thousand gallon collapsible tank plug with the pump with the filter separated the mission to provide the fuel support with the ground support equipment, for example, the fuel lift trucks and bulldozers. Aviation full servicing truck with a five thousand gallon truck to provide with a alongside aircraft refueling similar commercial airport refueling truck with ground support equipment and motor pool servicing truck with this is of the one twelve hundred gallon tank of the truck with the design to provide mobile fuel support with the both ground support equipment and motor pool pool vehicles. All right, 12, the Air Force Petroleum Handling Equipment. The Air Force Petroleum Handling Equipment. The Air Force typically uses the largest volume of the bulk of the petroleum in the theater operation. Majority of the, of the Air Force equipment, they use the full of the new fueling aircraft, more storage of the tank with the air fueling facility fixed above the ground tanks. However, the Air Force does have the equipment that can be transported to the operation received with the storage of the bulk issue, issue bulk petroleum. All right, a hydrant system, dispensing system, the quick, right, um, quick drift, efficient, the drive, delivering large volume of the fuel aircraft. The system also has the same base components, the pump half, the pumps, and filter separators, pipeline, pipelines, connection of the tank with the pump half, the pump half of the aircraft, refueling of the counter pit, the hydrant outlets, hydrant hoses of the trucks, connect for the hydrant system of the aircraft. Or your Panero system type one. His um, first hydrant system developed in the Air Force, 1949. Each of the systems generally has four to six to two twenty five thousand five thousand fifty thousand gallon storage tank with one or more ten thousand twenty five thousand gallon e fuel tanks. The system can dispense of the uh, fuel at three hundred gallons per minute for the fighters, six hundred gallons per minute for the bombers and other heavy aircraft. The Panero system does not have the defuel pump, but the city of the defueling operation must be out with the gravity fuel with the system of the aircraft defuel system of the control pay with the remote control cable with the start of the stop of the provided emergency shutdown with the fuel flow. The limiting factor with the Panero system is the small number of the hydrant outlets because of the use of the lateral pipe and connecting hydrants to the system. Pritchard system type 2 with the developed in 1955. The system was marked improvement over the Panero system. Six to, um, a system of 6 to 8, 50,000 gallon tanks with the 3 to 4 lateral connections. The system can refuel a craft at 600 gallon per minute with the defuel 200 gallon minute. The Pritchard system leave the horseshoe magnet tip for the lanyard emergency shutoff. Constant pressure refueling system type 3. The type 1 hydrant system can refuel the aircraft at the rate of the 1,200 gallons per minute, even in the hydrant hose the return, um, rather than in the hose car- cart. Constant pressure is maintained by the screw with the continuous running pressure pump with the system detect with a drop of the pressure for the hydrant hope with the control of the hydrant and the bring over the pressure until the rate of flow of the ebb is reached. The hot refueling system or type four with the hot, this system is used specifically for refueling aircraft with the engine running in or in a shelter. This system is similar with all the respective type one systems except for the use of the panograph to connect the aircraft rather than the hydrant hose truck with the fuel surface equipment, the R nine tank truck, the R nine of the five thousand gallon fuel surface the vehicle for the refueling the refueling aircraft. The vehicle has two hose red um red two three hundred gallon 
gallon per minute. The meter 600 gallon filter separated with the hose reel below 60 feet long. One here hose reel the three inch of the, with the single point of the roof filling over the nozzle. The other hose reel has two inch over the over um, wing nozzle attached. The central fecal pump with the 600 gallons per minute power with the R9 engine through the MPTO with the R9. We can refuel the nozzle simultaneously with the 800 gallons per through three inch hose over the end. We both meter 600 gallon per minute with the R9. The e fuel with the aircraft the 200 gallons per minute of the R9. You can bottom load with the fill of the tank. The tank is a single piece and piece of the aluminum sheet with a 15 baffle with the three R9 control panel. Have the gauges for pressure and pressure for the pressure differential gauge. Morning filter, shepherd the nozzle, pressure gauge, the pump discharge, pressure gauge, the R level of the tank controller. R11 is essential the same of the design as the R9 with the major difference between the two with the R11 and 6,000 gallon tank of the R11 and replace for the R9 through the air for the R11 is usually a only um, 60 foot hose reel with a two and a half to three inch hose with a single point refueling nozzle over a hole over over wing nozzle. The C300 tank truck. The C300 tank truck with a 1200 gallon per ground fuel servicing vehicle. The C300 with the PTO driven central fecal pump rated at 1200 gallons per um, per minute. Uh, sorry, 1200, uh, 120 gallons per minute, 300, um, the C300 does not have the filter separately, the C300 has the 60 feet hose reel with the one and a half inch hose with the over wing nozzle, the MH2 hose cart, hose cart, use the filter meter with the filter, use it with the hydrant system into the aircraft, the hose cart normally towed between, behind the pickup, the truck with the tractor, the air with the way the aircraft is being served, the MH2 hose cart with the the meter line trim, the filter separately, two surge suppressors, two static discharge ground reels, two inch collapsible hose, some of the trains serve to protect the filter separately with the large solid, the surge suppressor protect the system with the sun jams and pressure. One of the hose assembly is 30 feet long with the tank of the hydrant system the hose of the car. The other hose assembly is normally 45 to 60 feet long with the SBR nozzle attached to the refuel, the defuel aircraft, the defuel operations are rated at 200 gallons per minute. The uh, hose car can be either the, either the Panera Pitcher hydrant system, the hydrant hose truck the hydrant hose truck self propelled vehicle contains all the equipment and we needed the refuel, the defuel, the aircraft, the constant pressure hydrant has uh, three. The hydrant hose truck truck and have the same basic equipment. The hose car with addition with the PTO driven and the defueling pump with the rated 300 gallons. The hydrant hose truck that has 250 foot. 250-foot housing reel, the 3-inch housing snake with the hydrant system, and the 250-foot housing reel, the 3-inch hose with the SBR and the refuel and defuel. Aircraft with the housing hose truck with the can refuel the aircraft at the rate of 1,200 gallons per minute with the both hydrants. Everything can hose at 600 gallons for the any the, 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 through any on in one set. The HSV hydrant servicing vehicle, the hydrant servicing vehicle self propelled many of the same features as the hydrant hose truck. The hydrant servicing vehicle, the primarily designed with the refuel wide body of the aircraft, such as the K10B11B1B, high capable facility under wing refueling operations. Hydrant servicing vehicle the tank for the hydrant system used the 35 foot long the 4 inch over the end servicers of the aircraft the 22 60 foot long 3 inch with over the SPR novel that is attached to the 8 inch, inch lap lift platform hose to connect with the left side of the platform serve the hydrant servicing vehicle that can refuel aircraft through the 1 hope the rate of the 1200 gallons per minute defuel with 300 gallons per minute hydrant servicing vehicle I mean you the type 1, 2, 3 hydrants can be in the only conduct through cold refueling the defueling operation cannot be carried with the service of the operation all right, your GRU-17 Panagraph aircraft field servicing learner. The Panagraph can be used as a fuel servicing and service system that conducts the hot fuel refueling. Panagraph can the basic valve of the pressure regulating valve of the ground relay of the need, ground reels needed for the refueling um, operation. Basic Panagraph is designed made of the 4 6 and aluminum pipe connected with the seal with the swivel joints. Joints allow the Panagraph to position the refuel of the aircraft at the end of the Panagraph the head of the section of the SBR nozzle. Fuel flows and regulating you the hand actuated valve of the advanced switch. The first mo fuels mobile mobility equipment, the R-14 air transportation higher refueling system. This is the most common type of the portable hydrant system. Even the Air Force air transportability can be uh, set up the matter of our complete system consists of the three identical self-unit sufficient modules. Each module consists of the 600 gallon per minute of the unit filter separated with the 50,000 gallon collapsible school storage tank that's associated with hose valves and fittings. Each model with the hose for the unit to deploy with redeploy 50,000 gallon tanks. The R-14 refuels the aircraft with the two and a half inch SPR now with the two inch opening port. This is being received the issue with the fuel for the four inch cam lock of the coupling of this made with the system compatible with the 5,000 gallon tank with the Army and Marine Corps, the R-14 designed to refuel the one heavy aircraft, 600 gallons per minute, two higher aircraft, the 300 gallon minutes. The R-25 ATRHRS, the R-225 similar with the R-14, all except except they only exist when it the one module, the using two 10 gallon, um, 10,000 gallon tanks. This is designed to refuel small aircraft rated with up to 300 gallons. The R-26 R um, ATHR, the R-26 is general purpose of refueling designed to operate a 10, 000, one 10,000 gallon tank of the 250, 500 gallon drums or 455 gallon drums. Systems designed with the refuel of the small aircraft helicopter to provide ground fuel support with the system rated at 100 gallons per minute. The R-22 trailer mounted with the transfer pump. The R-22 car mounted with the central figure pump rated at 900 gallons per minute. Even the MH2 server the hose car with the kid mounting filter separate rated R-22 can be used instead of the R-14 to issue the fuel aircraft. 
or the air bulk fuel delivery system, the air for bulk fuel delivery system, and you the Air Force to provide bulk fuel delivery capability for with a remote location. One zip the two, three thousand gallon bladder tanks, and then two armor system with the two G six hundred gallon per minute. But this can be operated separately together. Air hosing fittings. Two number of the tanks can be loaded with the aircraft. The different with the type of the aircraft. You with the C one thirty two tanks with six thousand gallons. C one forty one three tanks with nine thousand gallons. C five eight to ten tanks twenty four thousand three thirty thousand gallons. This system consists of the numerous adaptive fittings that offload fuel with the conservative the inoperable to both serve to make sure the correct fittings available. The tanker aircraft, the aircraft tanker aircraft that operate with the under same principle to describe the Navy tanker aircraft, the K135 Strato tanker, KC135 is modified Boeing 707. The airliner has been served as the air life since the 1957. The 1977, the K135 fleet was upgraded the last 25, another 25 years. The K135 fuels capacity of 120,000 pounds and has a range of the 1,150 miles. The K135 normal Leave the bridge boom and the cess is somebody issued the fear of the aircraft. The C ten extender eventually replaced the C one thirty five base with the McDon- McDonald dual glitch on D seven on D C ten with the K C ten with a range of the three eighty thirty eight hundred miles. The K C ten with a has a payload of capacity of one hundred and seventy thousand pounds with a twenty five thousand JP eight. The C ten with is normally you for the rigid base um, boom and the assembly with the issue of the fuel cra- aircraft. They built both C one thirty five and C one ten. They equipped with the probe and the drag uh, and drudge equipment to refuel the Navy aircraft, the Air Force, the expanded experimented the multiple connection of the both rigid boom and the end probe de- um, drug uh, drug drug assembly. Lesson 18 practice exam. All right, lesson 19 origins exploration of petroleum.